Casey is doing a lot of thinking these days. She's trying to choose between a run for governor or re-election to her seat in the U.S. House. Axney told KCCI today that she has plenty of time to make her decision and will use it to weigh all of her options. Axney currently represents oh, hey. Iowa's 3rd Congressional District. She's been serving since 2019. Axney is the only Democrat representing the state of Iowa in Washington, D.C., and holding on to that seat is likely crucial to the Democratic Party maintaining control of the U.S. House. But Axney says she's waiting to see which role will, will put her in the best position to tackle the issues now facing Iowans. The decisions that are being poorly made at our state house here in Iowa, I'm looking at those closely. I'm looking at the issues that need to be done at a federal level, uh, and I'm doing a lot of listening sessions that I do in my normal job and considering the issues that Iowans face and, and how that can best be served. Three Republicans have announced that they're running for Axne seat in Congress. State, state Senator Zach Nunn, former state representative Marianne Hanusa, and Nicole Hasso of Johnston. Axne is also leading a new task force that kicked off today in Indianola. New at 6, KCCI's Amanda Rooker tells us how this will help people in rural Iowa. I talked with Representative Axne about that new task force, and as it launched today, she says it will be a greater and a louder voice for rural needs. How are you? Good to see you. Shaking hands and exchanging stories, officials across Warren County met in Indianola Thursday to bring their ideas to Congresswoman Cindy Axney. She represents Iowa's 3rd Congressional District and is now co-chair of the new Democrat Coalition's Rural Reinvestment Task Force. The new group says they'll bring the needs of small towns in Iowa to the halls of Congress. We wanted to raise this up uh, and make sure that people in Washington understood uh, the issues that rural America faces but also equally as much the value that rural America brings to the table. Indianola Community and Economic Development Director Charlie Dissel voiced concerns over worker shortages he says are hurting rural communities. They've got job openings that they're begging people um, to take and, and again just really struggling uh, with the workforce. So I think that's one of the more important issues we're hearing. Concerns also included access to health care, improving broadband and funding for schools and small businesses. Axney says the task force will now work on crafting policy to turn these problems into solutions. These things that we heard today are going to be our very tangible takeaways to go start to change those hearts and minds of those people who think they know what rural America contributes to this country, but in reality, don't. And Representative Sherry Bustos of Illinois will also serve as co-chair of that rural reinvestment task force. She was in Iowa as well today. Axney says more congressional members who represent rural communities will be joining that task force soon.